hey folks, when you do bass music, let's say dubstep or trap or drum and bass, you usually have the same problem. You have some kind of kick drum with a pitch envelope, something like this. So you start at a higher pitch and you end up in some kind of pitch. And then you have below that some kind of bass line, probably. So um, you want to basically face match this or face synchronize this. So the face wave cycle of this uh, tail here matches perfectly with the sub here because it's the same key, probably some kind of the same key. If you have a different key, you probably want to use side chain and just completely remove the bass and then, uh, you know, uh, duck the bass away and then just play the bass after the kick drum. So this is also possible. But sometimes you want to match basically your tail frequency with the frequency of the bass sound, right? And a lot of people do this um, with a lot of tricks, also with, um, you know, nudging the bass sound back and forth, also nudging the kick drum back and forth until you match the face. But I want to show you a different solution inside of the grid here, yeah, maybe hit stop, um, that we can construct the bass and the kick drum out of the same oscillator and can switch between a kick drum, uh, a bass sound, and also a kick drum and the bass sound at the same time. So we start here by using a sign, which is obviously our bass sound, and we need an ADSR with sustain because we want to keep or sustain the bass sound here over a short amount of time and an output here. And maybe we also use here a bit of distortion for the overtones, something like this. And you can see it's just a, you know, a poorly grid here on one instrument track, so nothing else. And we can just play this on the keyboard. So this is our bass sound here. And you usually want to also have some kind of pitch modulation for the bass, maybe. Maybe that's what you like. So you can go into the pitch mod here. We already have here a pre-chord enabled from the keyboard, so we can play notes. So the oscillator takes the pitch information from the keyboard automatically while this is uh, enabled. But you can also feed in here um, the signal from the envelope. So we get here the, f the envelope out, right? And we take the signal and can add it to the already pre-chord signal. So we maybe add here 24 semitones. So the bass note is still the same we are pressing on the keyboard, but we're also adding um, here the signal from the AD to kind of add a pitch drop. So this is already a nice, super punchy kick sound, uh, bass sound. it's also super simple right and that's what i like when i do bass sounds um, it's all about the simplicity in in the waveform kind of so now that we have this uh, we want to implement some kind of uh, kick drum on top of that so how can we do this it's basically the same we take here also an ad and we add or use here an add math module and we add here basically a second envelope to that. You can hear it's a much harder pitch drop now. So let's say uh, we have here dialed in 24, right? And this means um, the pitch from this one here is going down from two octaves higher because 24 semitones, right? 12 semitones is one octave. So two semitones, uh, two octaves down. And we can limit that here by using an attenuate and say 50%. So instead of 24 now here, we have only 12, right? So this means when we switch this off with the select here, Uh, there's a button here and call this kick. 
So now you can see that the second input is empty. We are selecting at the first input, so we have no pitch information from this one coming in. We have still a slight pitch drop. Still a pitch drop in there, but not that hard anymore. It's just 12 semitones down, pitch down. And you can switch on the kick here with just with this button. Right, which is nice. So for kick drum, you probably also need some overtones. So we can use here the same select with the same button input. But now we use here a noise. Pink noise probably because it's a bit more, you know, it's not that high passed. We go in here and use maybe, I don't know, just add in some, some amount. Something like this. So we need also an envelope for that. So we can do this here, of course. Um, just hook this up here in between. So this is the noise envelope. No kick drum, just the bass with kick drum. And when you hit hold basically the note, you still play the bass. And it's the same, it's the same oscillator basically. There's no phase offset or anything. It's super clean. You basically have the, the kick drum and the bass with the same oscillator here. There's nothing in between. It's always the same uh, phase that's uh, playing basically. Into the stereo. Also nice is to use a filter in front of the, in front of the noise. Let uh, me pull this down, use a, um, a band pass here. You can also try and pitch mod here, basically this filter. So when you want to play a bass sound, you just disable this. When you want to play a kick drum, you just, you know, enable this. And if you want to play a kick in the bass, you just hold the note. So you can switch between the two. So this is um, something you can do if you want to. It's probably not, you know, Oh, not the macro here, just use a button here. But it's something you can try out if you want to actually, if you are too lazy to match, uh, to match the face all the time, you want to a super clean, um, yeah, solution or trap or for bass music. Uh, let's switch this over here. Um, So now that you have this, you can, you know, maybe use your channel filter, something. And let's say channel one, channel one is maybe the kick drum. So you, just, you enable this here, modulate this. And channel two is not modulating anything for the leg down, of course. So now you can step in here. You can say channel one is always a kick drum. And when you want to have a bass, you make this longer. And you want to, uh, if you want to have just only a bass, then you switch it to, you know, to um, no channel two.
So this is basically the rough idea. You have just one oscillator and you tweak and bend this one oscillator to get a kick drum and a bass sound or a kick and the bass out of just one oscillator. And that's the rough idea. And you can, of course, tweak this in all kinds of different uh, directions. You can tweak the, how the kick drum sounds uh, more in the direction of your genre, for instance. So when you select here the kick, right, you can also take here the noise and modulate, maybe skew and fold. You can, instead of using noise here, you can use a sampler and just use a kick drum sample for the top top end, right? And instead of modulating at the face, you just um, use it in parallel. You mix it in instead of um, tweaking here the face. So you can tweak this in all kinds of different directions, right? But the main idea is the same. You have just one oscillator and you tweak and bend this one oscillator, which has just one face cycle. Um, so you don't need to deal with the face issues later on, right? This is also not something for every music production. It's, it's just one thing you maybe keep in mind when you have this special problem. It's something you can try out. Maybe it fits into your current production. It's it's not something like, you know, I have a lot of commenters under my videos and say something like, well, this is um, this is not practical for everything. Yeah, Yeah, it's just one thing you can use maybe when the time is right it's just nice to know that you can do that okay so that's just uh, one tip for the day in this video maybe it's helpful to you leave a like if you like the video ask me questions in the comments uh, and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and bye